With June 2023 updates, you will be amazed to see the capabilities of the new card visual. Now if you will expand the visuals list, you will see a new card visual with loads of functionalities, which we are going to explore today. I am pretty much sure that you would not have expected such features in a card visual. In the older card visual, we know that we can add only one measure, with limited formatting features, and we may use multi-row card to add more measures, but that as well has very limited formatting options. So I will remove this visual, and will show you the amazing capabilities of this new card visual. First of all, let me add the total sales measure. And as that you can see, I can add all other measures I wanted in the same card itself. It will automatically expand. Now if I will go inside the formatting options, you will see that it has a lot of different options to format this visual. Customization is available for almost everything. If I will expand the card, I will further see a bunch of different formatting features, including the accent bar, where I can set the color of the bar, or I can also format it dynamically using other measures. By default, it will be applied to the measure selected in this series section, and I can change this to all or select other field if I want to format that with another different color. As said, we can also assign dynamic colors. If you will expand layout section, you will notice that you can even change this to vertical or grid layout as well. We can increase or decrease the space between cards. In the callout section, we can select the series to format its fonts differently. Where I can set the fonts, and now I can also change the horizontal alignment. There is a special option to represent the blank values, which we can directly mention here. Or we can apply a conditional formatting for this. Category is now called as label, and we can change the position of the label and keep it above or below the callout value. From the spacing option, you can also change the vertical padding between the label and the values. Another interesting feature is, I can now insert an image and then I can adjust its position and size inside my card. I will do that in a moment, but let me change the shape of my cards first. I can change it to snip tab from both top, or I can select rounded rectangle. Rounded corner can be adjusted from this slider. Further customization style can be applied, and I can even apply the rounded corner styling to only selected corners as well. For example, I am selecting the top right corner and bottom left corner and same will be applied to all the cards or the selected series only. Now, let's insert an image icon. For that I can expand the image section, click on browse, and then choose my image. I already have these icons, and I will select one of them. From image fit option, I can choose the option to fit or fill. From the position option, I can move the image to any position inside the card visual. Increase the padding between image and callout value and adjust the image size based on your requirements. Earlier, if you wanted to create such visual, you will need to use multiple cards and custom workaround. From the series option, I can select a particular measure, and then I can change its icon accordingly. With all such options, now you can create beautiful card visuals and add into your Power BI reports or dashboards. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updated with all such amazing videos on Power BI.